How's it going, my comic chat army? Back with another late review. Um, episode 24. But if you're watching this, you probably still have time to enter our 500 sub giveaway. Look at the wheel spinning. You don't see your name on there. Can they see anything? Can yeah. they see it spinning? Yes, they can see it spinning. Okay. If you do not see your name on there, then you probably have not subscribed and showed us proof that you subscribed. And by doing so, you will be entered into that wheel and you will win this hand-picked by Rich Boy and I, the CEO of Comic Impressions, yep. Scout Comics Mystery Bundle is what we're going to call it. Yep. Shrink wrapped and everything. Look at that. Six books. Six great books. Yep. Going to give you a quick little theme that we kind of did. Kind of did Christmas. So, it's your hint. So, if you're a big Scout Comics fan, you might know some of the books. If you've never heard of Scout Comics before, a day in your life, this is a great starter pack to introduce you to the many wonderful stories that Scout Comics offers. Which is what we first started reviewing yes. on our channel. Yep. yep. Well, we didn't review these. These no. are all new hot bangers. But Scout books we started reviewing. Right. And one of these is for adults. It looks kind of like a children's book, but it's not for children. It has an adult, 18 or older warning on it. So please be safe. Don't let your kids get it. <laughs> Once when it leaves my house and it's in your possession. Right. It is up to you. Yeah. So don't hit me or tweet me back. Oh, Cody sent me some perverted comic. My kid got a hold of it. No, you're the parent. <laughs> you do what's right. So. Yeah. Oh. And. Who went down? Everybody. Look at this. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. McFarlane Dark Knight Metal Figures. Ah. So we said we were going to take a little break, but I'm actually recovering a little better from my C-section than I thought. So we are going to give this a try while I'm home. And hopefully we can bang out some reviews for you guys for the next six weeks while I'm home. Get out as much as we can. All right. So... Yep. So, you know yep. what the next, screw it, you know what the next, next episode is? The finale. <laughs> then after the finale, we've got the best of. Yeah. Best of season two. And I'm going to tell you all this real quick and we're done talking because I miss y'all and I love talking to you. <laughs> after the best of, we're going to start season three. All of this is going to be different. We're going to put up pictures of the, all the creators that we have met back here. So... Everybody gave us the okay, but for for some reason, if you don't want your picture up there, and you know your picture's gonna be up there, let us know. We'll take it down. There's no hard feelings, no problems. You know, we're not gonna tell everybody. Oh, John Smith doesn't want his picture in our background. He no, it's not gonna be a big deal. We'll just take it down and move on about our life. Yeah. So I read exciting comics one and two. Love the Frank Miller homage. Homage? Yeah. Homage? Homage. Homage. Oh, and I'm recording this on my cell phone. Will you click that light on real quick? Yeah. I'm recording this on our cell phone and Carrie, there we go. There's the extra lighting we needed. And Carrie read The Vampires of New Jersey, issue five and six. Yes, which I love the cover of number six. I think that's a Kara Nicole cover. Yeah, it's, it is. And if y'all know Kara Nicole, Wait, if y'all don't know Kara Nicole, <laughs> we interviewed her, so that will be right up there in that little eye. Hit that, and you can learn all about Kara Nicole and all of her many endeavors of cosplay. Yeah, and we also did an interview with Alton Simpson, who is Twice. the creator of Vampire New Jersey, and he kind of gave us a little backstory on this cover and how it came about, so you can check his out as well. Yep, Alton yeah. Simpson's awesome. Yeah. We love you, Al. Hope you share this. I hope your holidays is great. Hope everything's going good. Um, okay. So with the exciting comics is three comics in one. It is Blackjack, Crimson Scorpion, and Madam Mask. Now, and what I found out what? Just what it reminds me of. Oh. And what I found out is I think we've got exciting comics one through six. Mm -hmm. And I think some of these books are one out of six. So you're going to hear the beginning today, then 
the finale, I'm doing three and four, so you're going to get the, the beginning, the middle, and the end of these stories. So, Blackjack is a female superhero, which is like actual superhero, like whoever did these is awesome, and I'm going to tell you why when I get to number two. Um... Each each story is about four pages long. It just gives you like a little snippet of each story. But Blackjack... Blackjack is... And this one, Blackjack is a female superhero. And she kind of reminds me of Batman. Because she doesn't kill. And she damn near about kills this man. The, um... Fats. His name is Fats something. But it's a pretty dope book. And oh, The Crimson Scorpion, which is kind of a take on Spider-Man. There's a, yeah, there's an Egyptian that has um, a serum that I think could give man, either make him super soldier or make you an eternal life. And he throws it into the desert saying no man never needs to get his hands on this. And some scorpions eat the serum. Then later on they bite a dude and he becomes a Crimson Scorpion. Yeah, all of that's in the first issue. Yeah, see? There's the bite. <laughs> pretty, pretty dope. But there's like a mutated Crimson Scorpion, but there's a better look of Crimson Scorpion we'll get to. And Madam Mask is probably my favorite one out of these three stories. So her grandma was a superhero back when... Let's just show you all the pages. Kind of a little rusty at this. So her grandma <laughs> was an old-timey superhero. She was the original Madame Mask. And when she passed away, she, she turned the mantle over to her granddaughter. And that's the rundown of pretty much both books. But, yeah, and the second one is the same thing. Blackjack, Crimson, Crimson Scorpion, and Madame Mask. Do you like them? Do you like that they're little stories like that oh yeah and which we've done a lot of books with short stories but i think this is the first ones we reviewed where it's about a specific character oh yeah it's and it keeps different. going like it gives you three stories in issue one and issue two gives you three stories so mm -hmm. i mean it's how much is the book five dollars it's a good bang for your buck because you know you got you got three different chances of liking the book <laughs> Instead of picking up your local indie sure. book and it's one story, you got three chances to be like, okay, I like that story. I'm going to pick up issue two. That's true. But in issue two, we get the first appearance, I guess it's the first appearance, of um, the Revenge Syndicate. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But definitely pick up these books. Like, they're super awesome. Like, super dope. Oh, yeah, there's the Crimson Scorpion. Oh, he's on the front. Yeah, um, that's really it. And oh yeah, I told you about the Madam Mask. I've got a. It's kind of hard to review them because I'm just getting a little couple pages. Yeah, that's what so, I always find hard with the ones with the small, the little stories in them. Yeah, I mean, I definitely like them. Uh, Alterna Comics have definitely sent us. We've done some really good reviews with their. <laughs> They've stuff. got some really good books. Some definitely different and, and they're out of all there. different. They're not the same. Like. Their style isn't consistently the same. Like, they've really touched on a variety of styles of books, which I really appreciate. Right. Oh, no. Yeah, I thought, oh, we were done too quick before I found it. But anyways, in this book, it reminded me of the old-timey Marvel comics that said, hey, oh, it's in issue three. It's like, hey, if you don't know who this character is, go revisit issue two and three. It was a little bubble in the panel. I'll show you in the next one. But All right. So, I'm going to sum these up together because these really consistently tied together pretty well. So, if you are following this, great. You know that I've reviewed the other issues throughout since we started this channel. Um, so go check those out if you haven't. Link down in the description. Yes. So, basically 5 and 6 touch base on Cass, who is the son of Antonia, and I can't remember his father's name. So he, she's a vampire, and her, his dad is not. He's uh, part of the mob, mafia, whatever you want to say. 
So she wants to sacrifice her son. So this is basically what the two books touch on is getting Cass to wherever they need him to be to sacrifice him. It involves, um, we'll just say, some werewolves that are part of, from Brooklyn. So, hey. yeah, I don't want to give too much because then it... Werewolves of Brooklyn. It, but it does, yes, you'll and see that. pick up some of Alton's other books, Werewolves of Brooklyn and w Witches of Westchester. Yes, yeah, so, and then you'll see stuff about that, too. But anyways... I think we got a print up there. So, it touches oh. on both of them. It touches on the werewolves most start off in issue five and which they're kind of hired i guess you could say to bring cast there um and it involves it involves karen which she falls in love with one of the werewolves i'm not going to say who um and then six touches on the witches which is a part of the ceremony of sacrificing cast but i'm not going to spoil this for you but we'll just say that his mother isn't who she says she, she is? is exactly i'm not oh. gonna tell you who she is but you find out in the end and all hell breaks loose <laughs> but they do capture him but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna spoil anything else so but, are you ready for seven eight nine yes, ten i i really enjoyed reading six five was a little slow for me but I understand why it was a little slow. It was laying everything out. But yes, I'm definitely ready to finish the book. So, yes. Alton Simpson has a great way of writing and putting things together. And I think they could be a movie. I really do. Yeah, I'd like to definitely read some of his other books. Yes. Just to see. But his, definitely check him out. Um, his style. Right. That and him at different genres. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But he does. He has a really really nice way of writing and telling his stories oh yeah mm -hmm. we followed this book from the very beginning yes. i think he was one of one of the first creators that ever took a chance on us and sent us yeah. his books for review we've kind of grown with him a little bit as he's grown with his books and the series yeah so mm -hmm. thank you alton simpson for that yeah. for taking a chance on us yeah. And sending us your books very in the very beginning. I know um, we're a little rusty. <laughs> yeah. I'm sleep deprived too. But. Right. But thank you guys. Yeah. That's it. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, Join so we can put you in this giveaway. Right. Seriously. We've, time is hurrying. Time is going quick. It is 10.50 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're going to stop this review at 9 the giveaway at 9 yeah. yeah is the cutoff at 9 p.m standard eastern time yep so go join guys later mm -hmm.